Welcome to my YouTube tutorial. This is Biko T. I'm going to walk you through how to calculate your units in Photoshop. Follow me, let's dive deeper, okay? So, this is my workspace, and this is 2000 by 2000 pixel actually. So, for instance, let's say you want to maybe you design on a, can uh, on a Canva or your pixel app using your smartphone, and you want to print. Uh, on a banner and you really don't know how to do the calculation or how to you know set your dimension and the likes for prints because the truth is um, for digital designs it's quite different from you know designs that you print especially on banner because you can actually design super dope for digital but when you're trying to print it it brings out error or let me say it turns to a problem you might not really get the actual size so how do you know go about this so someone reached out to me and was like okay i designed on a pixel lab but how do i print i don't know the dimension of what to print because i just i don't know anything about you know dimension or anything about sizing and the likes so that's why i decided that okay i'm gonna bring up this tutorial today to just explain some little things that will really help so like you know um design is more of mathematical yeah graphic design is more of mathematical because i studied computer science and i did computer graphics so it gave me some insight on how things goes okay um there are units for each designs you want to make so uh and at the same time you, you need to understand those units and how to convert them if need be or if, if, if you so wish. So um, here, here is the unit. So one inch is equal to 96 pixel, right? So one inch is equal to 96 pixel and one pixel is equal to 0 0.01041666667 inches. So how does it go? Let's say for instance, for instance, if you want to, for instance, you design on a pixel lab, right? And you want to print, of course, you know, if you want to print, it's going to be on feet. If you go to printing press, because I, I also have a knowledge about printing as well. So most of the time I, I do my designs in Photoshop. Maybe I want to print on the banner or whatever. I design in Photoshop and what I use is just inches. I don't I don't use feet, I use inches. So but meanwhile I know what I want to print. So I know the dimension I want to print. So I just set the dimension in inches. How do I mean? Okay. So let's say for instance I want to I want to design a four a three by four um three by four feet, right? Three by four feet, which is the width will be three and the height will be four. So I will just set it like this, three by four. Meanwhile, it is in inches. Of course, you know, Photoshop does not have feet, right? Does not have feet. I don't know why. Maybe some other updates that they will do, they might include that. And if they don't, it still go this way. So I'll just select my three, three by four inches, right? And I will just, I will leave my resolution at 300. And I'll just create, and I have my three by four inches, right? So I'll design whatever I want to design on this. And if I want to save, I will increase the resolution. I'll just go to image. I'll go to um, image size. And I might just include, uh, increase the resolution to something like, let's say, um, I might just include, uh, increase it to 500. 500 or, as the case may be, I can increase it to 500. I can increase it to 800. Depending on how, you know, quality I want it to be. Then I'll just hit OK. And so once I hit OK, everything comes out well and the resolution will become high. So that if I want to print, there won't be anything like a um, blur or something. No. And so it will be like that. Then I just discovered something lately how to save in Photoshop so that it will you know, reduce your size. Because I discovered that when you use different elements on your design, it tends to accumulate and, you know, it makes your design to be bogus. Like, your design will be very huge. 
the, the, the space should be very easy to consume much space because I have some designs on my system whereas the the they are like 14 MB, which is supposed not to be just a normal online flyer, which should be reading like maybe 3 MB or even kilobytes, but they are reading like 16, 14 MB. So which is supposed not to be. So what I just discovered is that I will save it as this. Control Shift Alt S. Control Shift Alt S. And it brings this out. So once it brings this out, I'll just click on save. I'll click on save and I will locate, I mean, I will, I will uh, locate the particular place I want to save it. Then once I just locate it, of course, your name from the initial is what will, what will be here. And you can rename it from here as well. Then you just click on save. So once you click on save, instead of it reading like maybe um, 10 MB or whatever, might be really like maybe 1 MB, 2 MB, or even kilobyte. So that's just one thing I discovered lately, and I so much love it. So I'm just going to cancel it. And if you want to bring this up without using the shortcut, you just go to File and you go to Export, Export, then you go to Export As, you click on it. Oh, sorry, uh, File, Export. Then save as web. Ooh, save as web. Then just just save it like that. So if you don't want to go this far, just use the shortcut Control Shift Alt S and it brings this up at once. Okay. So that's that's just by the way. So let's go back to our conversion. So now, for instance, let's say you use your Pixel Lab and you design and you discover that. Your design is 12 by 8, uh, 1280 by 1280 pixel, right? So if you have 1280 by 1280 pixel, and after you've done, after you're done with your design, you want to print, and you don't really know the actual, um, the actual size to print, since it is pixel, and if you want to print in printed press, it's gonna be in uh, feet, right? So what you just do is this: you will just convert it to inches how do you do that you would so you just say 1280 multiplied by this number here right here this number once you just multiply it you have this 13.3333 like that, like that inches so that means if you want to um that means if if it's possible for you to set your because I'm not used to I'm not used to Pixel Lab so I don't really know much about their unit and maybe you can change their unit actually I don't know but if you can't so just since you just have um since you just have 1280 by 1280 pixel the next thing you just do is try to convert it to inches using this method that's um 13 inches by 13 inches that's just what it's gonna give you. Which is still like a square, so it means that automatically if you want to print that very design on a banner. It's either you print it as two by two feet, three by three feet, four by four feet, or eight by eight feet. That's the only way it can go. Anything other than this will not work, or it's not as if it will not work, but it will be stretched. It will, you know, look compacted, stretched, and it won't look original so that's just how you can do your conversion if you design with pixel lab or canva on your phone and you want to print as a banner and you don't really know the actual size just do exactly like this then you are good to go from there you'll be able to know what size it can go and the size it to move okay so um like i was saying this is a uh, 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 two, uh, three, three inches by four inches, right? So this is three inches by four inches. Meanwhile, I want to print it as three by four feet. So once I just use my, um, once I just set it like this, I will just see, I will increase the resolution, then I save, and I just take to printing press, and I just, you know, print on four by three or three by four as the case may be, and it comes out well. So which means, if you're using Photoshop, Photoshop does not have feet. Only when you're using Corel Draw is when you can set your, you know, 
your unit, your design, your workspace into Photoshop. But you're using Photoshop, you can just do it this way. If you want to print on maybe 10 by 10, just set it as 10 by 10 inches. Design whatever you want to design. Before you export, then you increase the resolution. But mind you, before you increase the resolution, ensure that you convert all your images, your text, everything to a smart object. Else, it comes out blurry. Yes, it comes out blurry. So what you just do is convert everything to smart object. Once you convert to smart object, then increase the resolution. So once you increase the resolution, everything comes out well. So that's that about you know feet, inches, and the likes. So back to this. I hope you get this. And this is just the you know uh, default size. I mean default uh, number, right? Or as the case may be, that's the unit. One inches is equals to um 96 pixels. So you know mathematically, that's just how it is. From what I've been taught so far in school and my experience in graphic design and printing as well. So to the person who requested for this, I hope you find this really helpful. And um, if you want more tutorial, please just let me know in the comment section. And um, that's just the end for this tutorial. I hope you find it really really helpful so please like this video comment and um, share with your friends and fellow creatives please I want this to go viral let it go viral invite someone let someone subscribe to my youtube channel I have more content coming up and I'll see you in the next tutorial thank you